what do you like about your new slash oldish long snapper? Uh, I tell you, it's, it's, it's been good. Uh, he's, he's been in the building uh, the last two months, so he's had the opportunity uh, to see how we do things on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, he's had the opportunity to be on the sidelines during the games, so he's understand, uh, understanding that process. So um, it should be a seamless uh, transition, and uh, he, we're excited for his opportunity right now, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. What a to change. Uh, it was just a decision made by the organization, uh, and we're ready to we're ready to move forward with that. We want to thank Hunter Bradley uh, over the last three and a half years, four years, uh, um, for his time here. Uh, I've grown to 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 really uh, uh, be close with him, uh, and uh, we're excited about where we're going with Stephen at the moment. I know you you told us when you first got the job, your room is the truth room. Yes, is the truth that you need. Just better consistency from that position. Well, the truth room is in that room, not in, <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily in this room. But I, I appreciate your, I appreciate your line of questioning on that. Yes, yes. I had a trial. Yes. Oh yeah. How much um, of that muff punt on Thursday was because of how Corey's punt was rotating? It was absolutely his punt. Uh, it's a punt we call the banana kick. It basically came from Australia. The all the Aussie, hopefully that's politically correct. Australian kickers uh, utilize that. I apologize if I offended anyone. Uh, the Australian kickers have coined uh, that kick, and they do a really good job with that. It's a tough ball to catch for returners. Um, so, to answer your question, uh, it was all about that kick. Uh, Corey's been uh, working on that. Um, throughout uh, throughout this season since he's been with us. He broke it out one time before in the Washington game. Uh, it was not totally uh, to perfection, uh, but now he has that thing rocking and rolling. Oh, you used uh, Patrick Taylor and kickoffs in training camp, I believe, right? In the preseason. Yes. Is that an option for you or, you know? Yes, it's definitely an option. One, one thing we try to do, uh, we try to teach to the whole room. We teach these guys multiple spots um, because you never know during the football season with injuries and now that we're in the COVID era and, and things of that nature, you never know when you're going to get your opportunity. So we want to make sure he has a foundation in several spots, which he does. So we very well could see him in, in a multitude of spots. And Malik Taylor did after Kylan, is that an option? Yes, Malik Taylor is definitely an option, as well as some others that's on our roster. How's uh, how is Kylan doing? I'm sure that had to be the, the you know it's it's tough news obviously for everybody, but, but I mean, how is he doing? Be yeah. Yes, it's very tough. Anytime uh, you, you have a, a player that you care about, we care about all our players here in this building um, uh, to have such a traumatic uh, injury. Uh, you know, we, we just try to stand by him, support him. Uh, I text him all the time. Uh, sometimes he's slow to respond. And uh, my last text with him was, hey, if, if you don't respond, I'm going to come find you. And that's what I did. <laughs> So I went down to the training room, made sure he's doing okay. He had a big smile on his face. And it won't be easy, but I know this is something that he will be able to overcome. Our training staff is one of the best uh, on the planet. Uh, the support staff in that locker room is, is very strong. Uh, you watched Aaron Jones kind of take him under his wing and talk to him about injuries, things of that nature. Even myself, I've had five knee surgeries, so I understand what he's going through, and it's going to be okay. He'll be fine. Well, just to um, be exact on, on the uh, play, did anybody see the punt get touched on the, on the off punt? It just like hit his finger, right? Yes. Uh, so obviously, from my vantage point where I was standing, we definitely saw that it was touched. On the field sometimes, it's tough to tell, uh, you know, if the ball was touched or not. Ike uh, did a great job along with um, – along with um, – Ty Summers, they did a great job as far as uh, was it touched, was it not touched, I don't know, so let's be on the safe side. Let's make sure we get the ball and make sure it does not go in the uh, end zone for a touchback. So they did a great job of recognizing uh, what may have happened and what may not have happened. So the, uh, they played it right. If they were sure that it had been touched, they would have let it 
go into the end zone. They would have let it go into the end zone and we would have recovered it for a touchdown. We all know that we cannot advance a muff. They've been trained in that. They understand that as well.